What up though? It's Diddy Ho, and I'm back with another video. And y'all see the title, okay? So I don't really gotta get into it. You feel me? College tips. You know how to save money, how to lose weight. I don't know what else. I got a whole notepad, a whole notepad right here, showing you the tips, do's and don'ts. The first one is how to save money, okay? Because when you're in college, you realize that you're using up all the fucking hard-earned money that you use, that you use. You're using up all the hard-earned money that you got this summer. Then, next thing you know, when, when you go to college, you're like, you need these books. You need these books. You have over $2,000 saved, and that's going to go to two hundred dollars real quick. Why? Because they claim you need all these books. Well, first of all, don't buy no books until you go to class and they really say they're going to use the books. And even if they say that nine times out of ten, they're only going to use the books for two chapters. If you need to really get the books, don't buy them at all. Just borrow them. And you're probably like, well, how can I borrow them? Walk in the bookstore, make sure there's a lot of other people there. Look around, make sure nobody's, you know, watching you. And um, grab a motherfucking book, put it in your backpack and run. It's called borrowing, not stealing. Why? Because you're going to bring it back at the end of school year. You're going to do the same thing and just put it back. That's it. They're going to be like, oh, here's the book that we thought we lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? All right, how to save money number two, parking passes, okay? Why do we need to buy some fucking parking passes just to park on the campus that we go to? So yeah, how to avoid buying a parking pass. If you live like in one of them dorm apartments, hopefully you're like me and have like houses around. Park like where those houses are and stuff like that. Make sure you wanna get a ticket. Well, you shouldn't really get a ticket on the street. You should be free to park there. And you're probably like, when you have classes, where do you park it? with baby boy or baby girl I park at the houses down there by the motherfucking school building the campus is big you already gonna be walking might as well use it for good and park at the houses and fucking walk your big ass it's not that hard especially if you're trying to lose weight walk your big ass like just walk I'm cheap and I'd rather walk my fat ass to classes and not buy no parking pass than to pay $180 for a fucking parking pass the fuck this school just school is a scam I'm telling you Okay, how to lose weight. I know y'all, some not, not all, but some people come into college already a little bigger than what they want, and then some people just start gaining that freshman 15 real fast. That freshman 15 turns into freshman 40 real quick. And if you're like, oh, I don't want to be this big, you don't you don't like yourself big, you, you're not the type to look good big, like me, I'm not the type to look good big. You can easily avoid gaining weight by doing what I just said in the previous steps. Don't buy a parking pass, park where the houses are, and walk your ass to class. That's an extra like 10, 15 minutes of walking every time you have a class you might not think that that's a good idea that's a really good idea especially if you're losing weight and then don't take the motherfucking elevator stop being fucking lazy go up them goddamn stairs if you're going to be lazy and take an elevator to a motherfucking third flight you don't want to lose weight walk up them fucking stairs it's not that hard and when you're going up the stairs do a little squat here and there you know put some cardio into it more cardio into it like that's what you want to do you want to lose weight do it just do it. Next tip. Okay, everybody says when you're in high school, oh, sit in the front. That's how you get good grades. That's how the teacher knows you. The professor don't give a fuck about you. If you're, if you're failing with a D, they're not going to be like, oh, since I know you and you're nice, I'm going to pass you with the A. They're not going to do that. And sit in the front don't do shit. Ask me and Teriana. We had music class. We passed that shit with a C and we was in the front. And we didn't talk like that. Because sitting in the front of do shit but making you feel like there's somebody's throwing shit at the back of your head. Because that's what I be thinking. I be like, damn, what the fuck? Um, I think I hit all the bullet points. Oh, parties, okay? Tips on parties. If you don't have a car and you don't have a ride back to the campus, don't fucking go. If you know you have a ride to the party but you're not sure if you have a ride back, don't fucking go. What's the point of you going? Save your fucking money or something. Get you a little scooter or something. From Like, why? what was the point of you going? And then... When you're at a party and drinking and doing things, watch yourself. Make sure you have a designated driver and have somebody that's actually watching y'all. You know, I don't drink and I don't smoke. So, if you need me, hire me to watch y'all and drive y'all and be our designated driver. $5 per hour. Um, if you're too drunk, it's going to be added a 10 you have to add a $10 tip. So, yeah, if y'all need to hire anybody to watch y'all and make sure that y'all have are safe and y'all get home safely and y'all not drinking and driving, Hire me, DDTV, starting at $5 an hour. And if you're really drunk, add an extra $10 on that. Anyways, I'm about to fill my rate, rate, 
rate video. I don't know how to say it. I'm just say rate video. Um, I'm rating people that I that I follow and that follow me and stuff like that on Instagram and Snapchat. So yeah, I'm doing that video next. So if you be like, oh, I got the same hoodie on, well, yeah, that should be uploaded too the same day as this one because I'm trying to start being more consistent. It's very hard because I'm stressing. Like I have so much stuff going on, but I'm not gonna speak on it because God's gonna bless me in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name, this is just a little time in my life that's stuff's not going right. Remember to tell your loved ones you love them because tomorrow's not a promise. And I am out of here. You know I love to hustle, we the best, that's nothing else. This image in the magic is on myself. It's on myself. It's